So in this video we're going to talk about rotary encoders. Now what a rotary encoder does is it is used to tell the angular position of a motor, like this one. Sometimes bigger, sometimes smaller. Now here you can see that the encoder is placed on the back. It's this little disc thing. Now in bigger applications, industrial applications, they have much more advanced encoders, like this one here. This is off of a FANUC servo motor. Now as you can see, the motor is much, much bigger. Now this would bolt onto the back of the motor, and then this here uh, would plug into the shaft of the motor. Now that gives um, the angular position through here and into the unit and whatever's happening inside of here. Now how it works is inside of here, underneath the circuit board, there's a glass disc. Now that glass disc has a bunch of ticks on it all the way around. Through that there's a light shining and um, there's an optical reader on this that will read uh, those ticks and that will give you the position and the, uh, the direction that the motor is spinning. And that allows you to uh, position the motor for you know, a robot or a conveyor or, or what have you. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook this one up. Uh, very simply, we're going to power this one um, with 5 volts. Now here's our circuit here. Uh, I want to ignore these flashing lights at the moment just because it's not hooked up. Um, now fortunately this encoder actually only runs off of 5 volts, which is perfect. That's exactly what we need. Um, then here are our two wires. Now these are where the pulses are going to come in. And it's called phase A and phase B. There are a bunch of ticks that are 180 degrees out of phase from each other. That lets you tell the direction. Okay, so now that you're hooked up, we're going to see that these lights are stationary. Now what this is, is this is a 10-bit binary counter. So we're going to see this counting up and counting down depending on how I spin this. Now it's going to be flashing really fast. And that's because this is a high pulse count encoder. Now, encoders are rated in their pulses per revolution. This one here, we saw maybe is 200 pulses per revolution, where this one is somewhere between 4 and 8,000. So it's a very, very big number. So just touching it uh, will cause this to change. So you can see when we spin it in one direction, the count is going to go up. And when we spin it in the other direction, the count is going to go down. So we can count up, and then we can count down again. Now, that's kind of hard to see. Uh, if you look at this r little red light here, you're going to see in one direction it's on, the other direction it's off. On, off, on, off. So that lets us tell the direction that the motor is spinning. And you can see how fast we're counting. Now, how we are decoding this is with this chip here. Now this is, uh, this is an FPGA, it's a logic circuit. Now the reason that we are using this and not a standard microprocessor is because it will never lose its step count. Now one of the issues with uh, encoders is that if you're reading it with a processor, and the processor is under heavy demand doing something else, you may lose your step count. And that is a bad thing. You don't want that. So here we are using a logic circuit, uh, which is uh, something that is never going to lose its step count. Um, so I hope that this was informative, and I hope that you learned a little bit about encoders.